Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel which gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that I found going on in the world of Transformers. I'll let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram which is toys underscore R Russ. Once again, this is going to be part one of two. Part two will be aired about 10, 12 hours time from this, which gives more opportunity for other things to happen and me to again make you aware of them. I've got 10 things to go through with you straight away. And we're going to start off with something that again is a regular feature on this. And this is one of the Hasbro designers, Mark Clonus, Mark Maher. This is his insights this time into the Buzzworthy Fangry figure. So although this has been out for quite some time, it again is still nice to hear his thoughts on it and his opinion. Um, and again, the, one of the best things about this, if you read uh, when he's talking about it, he said obviously that he came in quite late. He didn't start it off from the beginning. Um, obviously he let us know things that we pretty much already knew, that it was a retool of, of course, Double Cross. Um, and of course they used the same mold again, as you can see there for Repugnus. But again, the interesting comment that he puts on the end, he's put, he puts, whether it's a cryptic clue or not, I don't know. He puts, I know, I know, and then he obviously writes, squeeze play and horrible. So maybe it's a tease as to what's coming out because it's it just seems strange that he's gone back to looking at a figure that's been out, you know, for well over a year. Um, and it is good, as I say, it's good to hear his insights, see all the thoughts behind it. We've got some more sketches coming up in a second there. But as I say, on his actual interview, on the thing which you can see on his Instagram or on T-Formers or on TFW 2005, he actually is quoted saying at the end, yes, yes, I know, squeeze play and horrible. So maybe, because again, we've had a leaked listing of a potential other four plaque from Buzzworthy Bumblebee, which we know nothing about. Maybe, who knows, I'm only speculating, but that's all I can think of anyway. Right, we've just quickly seen this. This is an Authentics Titan Changer Soundwave. So these are, of course, the cheaper line, but this is the Titan Changer. So this guy's huge um, and it's not too bad. Uh, it's Soundwave for a start. He's very G1-esque, even though that's more like his Cyberverse alternate mode, but the robot mode looks very much like G1 indeed. And it's got 11 steps to transform it. So there's one little stocking filler maybe, but otherwise a great, looking figure right these two figures now one of them of course this one i'm going to discuss at the moment is of course splitting the fandom hugely so these are new images so these couple of these ones you'll have seen before this is nightbird and yes she's looking fantastic alternate mode looks great head sculpt looks really really good uh, but again i've got some new images of her here of the alternate mode which looks amazing now there's some hooks or something coming out the back of the vehicle you'll see in a moment I can't even speculate what they're for. I've got no idea, um, but it looks like obviously she can do it. They might do something in the movie. I don't really know, but um, again, it's all speculation. I don't really know. You can see, obviously we can store her sword underneath as well. I think this figure looks great. I really do. And there's some comparisons coming up of her now with some other movie figures. So again, none of these have been officially released or confirmed. So again, it's all speculation anyway, but Okay, this is this one again is splitting the fandom. The alternate mode everybody's loving, uh, but what everybody is not loving is the head sculpt. And I completely agree, I think, with one of the comments that someone's put on this channel that perhaps they've allowed this person to have these to, to gauge fan reaction. Now, all I'm kind of hoping is that maybe it's a mistransformation and maybe this bit that you can sort of see on the side of the head there, I'm hoping that folds out. Now, I've seen a generated image, it's not an official image of exactly that, of the um, of that with it folded out. So it does, of course, look like his light sensors on the side. Of course, these images don't show you that at all. We just get to see these crazy goggles where I suppose he looks like a younger version of Q or Wheeljack, whatever he's called in Dark of the Moon. But I completely agree, he definitely needs his head sculpt sorting out. The alternate, and hopefully, again, they've got to explain how he looks so different from that Bumblebee opening scene. Obviously, we've seen Bumblebee and Optimus Prime scan vehicles. I don't know how they're going to get him scanning a vehicle, but again, it's going to be very interesting to see how they do, I suppose, exactly that, explain why he looks like that, and hopefully that the things on the side of his head will, in fact, fold out. But as you can see, got a few new images of him here. Right, moving on to this. Fantastic news for everybody who backed it. There was over 25,000 backers in total, so we've unlocked all tiers. And if you didn't see it already and you want to have a look at it, go to 
either the Hasbro Pulse website or T-Formers or TFW 2005. And there is a brilliant video on there from um, basically Takara Tomi designer Hishas, I gotta say this right, Hisashi Yuki, and it, again, Yuki-san, he worked on Masterpiece Star Saber. It's just a really good video, just a bit of an insight again to see this amazing figure that now we've all got to unfortunately wait over a year for. Right, moving on to the first of two Magic Square things. I found this on their Weibo page. This is some amazing images of their take on Menasaur. Look at these, these guys look great. I haven't seen these yet, so they could already have been out for ages. I apologize if they have, but even if they have been out for ages, I just wanted to show you how good that these guys actually look. These images are straight from the Magic Square Weibo page. And again, apologies for the reflection and the glare. Um, you can go to their Weibo page direct or off TFW2005. So again, Menasaur is very topical at the moment. Um, and this is just yet another great, great version. They've gone with you can see, you can turn the cars around on the legs, pretty much the same as you can with the Hasbro variant. Um, I need to get some dimensions for you, give you an idea of how big it is, but it just looks great. Really impressed with this guy. Um, and again, this is Magic Square's version. Okay, moving on, a confirmed Transformers crossover. Whether or not this was the one that, again, was leaked the other day, which was something to do with Bear, I think. This has been confirmed on Hasbro's Twitter page, Beyblades. So Beyblades and Transformers is yet another crossover and this is the only information we've got at the moment no actual product images just these computer generated ones there for you and indeed when more information on this drops i will let you know okay here's another really crazy random thing buzzworthy bumblebee their toy line's crazy this is bumble swoop and it's a combiner and it is bumblebee and swoop so of course these are rather basic I don't know what to say about that combiner, it's crazy. I suppose I can make a little bit of a joke that they've gone with the Diaclone colours of the blue on Swoop. Um, but yeah, look, there he is. And there is, of course, Bumblebee. And you combine the two together. And ingeniously, they've come up with the name Bumble Swoop. Or oh, Swoop a bee, surely that'd be better. But there you are, there is Bumble Swoop from the Buzzworthy Bumblebee toy line. And again, just something that's new and out. Back to Magic Square again. This is another absolute obvious. Whoever invented Nemesis Prime is going to be getting pats on the back all the time because this is Magic Square MB02B Dark Lord. So this is an obvious repaint. Again, I'm going to have to laugh at the glare. I'm so, so sorry. Um, of their, This is their masterpiece scale size figure. They've only just released Optimus Prime, their version 2.0, obviously, of Optimus Prime by Magic Square. And they've gone and done... The really obvious thing, which again, I'll take my hat off to any company that does this because it makes the money. This is the Nemesis Prime version of that mold, which of course is just the dark black paint with the translucent, hopefully, yeah, they are red windows with the red axe. It's exactly that. It's just the Optimus Prime redecoed. Okay, one more final thing. Oh no, one more page there. And one more final thing for this part. There are some Super 7 Ultimate new figures coming out. We've got, they're calling him King Starscream even though obviously he was only coronated for probably all of a few seconds just before he was destroyed. And we've got a reformatting Megatron. So these are the ultimates. So these are the much, much version, bigger versions of the figures. They come with an abundance of more accessories. And I don't know what to say about the Starscream one, to be honest, it's okay. But the Megatron one, as you're about to see, is stunning. And this I'm sure would look great next to reformatting Galvatron. Great idea. Again, Super 7s aren't necessarily for me because they don't really transform and I've got no space. However, I've got the Super 7 Ultimate Optimus Prime, which I'm really going to be reviewing this weekend. I'll give you more information about that in a second. But there is a reformatting Megatron and there's the box. And this then indeed does conclude part one. So part two will be in about 10, 12 hours. Um, with regards to videos, I'm halfway through as in I've had a good practice because it's surprisingly difficult to combine Raiden from start to finish. I'm going to do exactly the same as what I did with the Leo Kaiser video, Leo Kaiser video, Kai, uh, start to finish, taking him out of the box and building him up into Raiden. Um, Shattered Glass Stepper, which is one of the BotCon exclusives or a, the Collector's Club, one of them anyhow, getting that video done. Um, also, as I say, Super 7 Ultimate Optimus Prime, which has been given away uh, just before Christmas. I'm not going to risk the post at the moment. It's crazy. That's going to be the first giveaway on this channel for channel members. Um, it's just took such a long time to do the video. It's such an amazing figure. Hopefully you'll see and I'll do that some justice. 
Um, Legacy Wave 3 for me are arriving, so I'll be doing some of them soon. And again, just keeping my, making my way through some collection videos and some requests. Thank you everybody for the support. It's been a crazy whirlwind year. I'm up to over 6,200 subs. Appreciate all the interaction, comments, feedback, subs, memberships, sharing, everything. I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks ever so much. I'll see you in about 10, 12 hours. Take care.